So let's start with uh ooh. comments in Mekuja thick I and fast. I know thick and fast. <laughs> um so we did read that. Question for Ali, then Ali Badawi, your time on get watch Becky Pale Citizen TV. I don't know. That's so, so who is Becky. <laughs> Seriously, in my Pablo. opinion. She, it's Pablo. she's the new Who's Maria. Becky? Okay, all right. Uh, oh, okay. If you if you used to watch Maria back in the day, I mean, I did watch Maria, but so now, now Becky, Becky, so now Becky is the new. See, Maria Ali and uh, the show ended. Ali graduate. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so Becky is the new is the new sh- Maria is the new show on Citizen. That's, okay, yeah. All right. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, good to know. Good to know. Brian, in my opinion, TB Joshua Akuzima Ali Tezakama Ye Conman one hundred percent. Question: Why is the Niger- why is Nigeria the epicenter of Christian? cultism in Africa. There is, mm. there is something to that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Brian, spiritual conman haven. Many Kenyan prophets are inspired by them. This guy was well connected. So it's just like a prophet a war. Um, then she agrees with him. Uh, easy money to be made by telling lies. Let's not go far. The expose in, in, Z- in Zimbabwe on gold, some of those guys were pastors including Kamlesh Patni, mm. Ogan Avestin, <laughs> Pastor uh, Paul. Oh, we do what Rwanda did. Bishop Dare and the kids trafficking <coughs> saga claiming it could cure female in- infertility. True maker. If churches in Kenya don't preach a thing or two about suffering poverty, you see, no one will show up to those churches. Um, 100% maker, whatever ma- maker was saying. And then I don't blame the preachers. I blame the followers because they, they don't read the Bible for themselves. Spirituality has a place in many people. In, in many people's everyday lives. Then Ben Akech says, clergy members of this process share similarities with entertainers like sportsmen, actors, musicians, and comedians, much like the wi- widespread support for figures like Messi, Ronaldo, LeBron, James, Kevin Hart, passes like Prophet Awal and Pastor Ezekiel can draw massive crowds, filling stadiums with over 60K followers at their events. Despite the significant earnings and assets associated with these entertainers, Criticism seems to be more directed towards religious figures, highlighting the interesting contrast in public p- perception. Let the pastors be. Okay. All right. So, Ben Akech's opinion. Did I uh, miss anybody else? No. Uh, I think, did you read the one for James James Olongo? Uh, oh, yeah. I think yeah. you did. I don't blame the preachers. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, good. So, yes. We are still going to get back to Ruth on why she thinks, um, you know, like... Uh, Almost everyone is one step away from joining a cult. And I will also talk about, or rather, I will talk in defense of Christianity as a Muslim uh, because of what I'm observing from outside. And this is just my observation from outside. Um, and uh, I will, because we also have, you know, like uh, certain similar cult, culty issues mm-hmm. within our Islamic faith. And I'll just talk about how uh, they're dealt with and why they don't necessarily um you know i mean at some point they became problematic when they were recruiting people to go to fight in syria to go when they're recruiting you know like miners to go fight in syria and stuff like that they 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 got a bit problematic and then and i'm just gonna talk about how that was dealt with uh not by the authorities but within uh within the faith because this is also a problem that's within the faith and uh, and uh, not to get into too much detail, but I also think Christianity has to deal with this within the faith. Authorities can only do so much, but they, this has to be dealt with whole scale within the faith. But I want you to stay tuned. First one to get, you know, like Omosh views on what you felt about this or if you just decided, I don't want to watch this, this is too much. Uh, DJ Omosh fire. Actually, I, I didn't watch it. I, I never watched uh, I, to, to me, frankly speaking, I think that's not the best use of my time. But uh, with that said, with all the things that are coming out about, you know, cultism and uh, especially religion and Africa, mm-hmm. um, at one point, I was very, very deep in the church. And I saw things happening in the church from the backside. Meaning, you know, the things that, the things that happen 
in the back before say the pastor comes out in the server the, the, yes yeah the things that are happening huko huko nyuma tuseme green room mhm zile vitu zinafanyika huko mm-hmm. huko nyuma so kuna you know uh, i guess you, you call them evangelism type of ministries mm-hmm. right uh whether it's uh they're talking prosperity blah 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 or whatever but you know it's you are, you're always sowing you you come in you sow a seed and what you you know you you pray for something and wale wana kuja na pesa like here in america you would have kuna line ya 1000 kuna line ya sotano alafu kuna line ya so moja and what do you know, mean by line meaning you're coming to sow your seed to be prayed so, so for you in a queue you're, yeah yes you stand in a line so munakuja wale watu wako na you were called up wale watu wako na 1000 unakuja na 1000 now imagine you've gone to church na umetoa umetoa 1000 now we all know how long it takes for you to make a thousand dollars you're coming up and you're removing a thousand dollars as you're offering but also you're sowing a seed into whatever it is that you want to be prayed for it could be a new job it could be for you to uh get a new car house blah blah whatever whatever it is but you're coming with your seed here 1000 sasa the interesting part to some of these things and me i can only speak to what i saw when i was in the church was ule mtana kuja kuongea let's say whoever it is is uh, the prophet or the evangelist or whatever it is anakuja na entourage yake na hii entourage kuna wase wameka kama plants kila mtu ako na hiyo thao in the congregation wali kuja na mse lakini you are they are planted Okay. So Sazila and Aita and I said I've seen this happen. Ooh. I'm telling no, you I'm, I'm asking yes, because yes, I have. Yes. Yes. Okay. You, you know this is interesting because it's a tactic that's used in auctions and I'll talk about it. But okay. but so, I didn't know it was in church but oh, yeah. very yes, interesting it is, hearing it is yeah. in church. Yeah. So what happens kuna wase wata wanapewa it, hi- it, it was highlighted in TB Joshua also. In fact our say our say wanapewa pesa eh depending upon let's say I'm going to na wase waine. So tuseme kwa wase waine kuna wawili wataenda kwa ile line ya wathao. Mm-hmm. Alafu hawa wase wengine wanaweza pewa sotano sotano. Nyi yeah. muende kwa ile line ya sota sotano. sotano. Yeah. Na wasendi wale kama nae. Lakini unajua sasa zile umse anaingia watu wa kanisa hawajui hawa wase waliingia nae. They even came in the same freaking car. But you, you, you see you don't know because si mko kanisani mna ngoja umse aingie. Mm-hmm. Na yeye anaingia na kule nyu kule nyuma na wase wako na ingena mbele so we ujui ya pale hawa wase wametoka na saa zile hizi do zinagawanywa wanagawanywa do mimi naona wewe chukua hii wewe chukua hii wewe chukua hii chukua hii na kile mtu anajua mission ya mission yake si ndio si wanaenda wanaenda kawa wanaingia so mse anakuja anatoka nje anapiga introduction nini nini alafu anasema okay sasa wale watu wanataka uh, nini uh, if you want to be prayed for blah 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 watu wa wantao simamini Ujeni msimame hapa let me pray for you okay so hawa se waka wanakuja because normally getting people to start hiyo kukuja na hiyo 1000 yeah, yeah. ndio wani pro problem so these are the ones who are jump starters yeah unaona yeah. so hawa wanakuja kama wamepiga manduru manini nini nini then everybody yeah you know that uh, crowd mentality people people roll in yeah there's could, a science behind yeah, that you mm-hmm. could get like yeah. 10 to 15 people who will come in with a thao each now minus his thao Oh, is 2000 that's 13k apo okay mm-hmm. now this is one of the ways that you're actually going to raise funds in a church mm-hmm. by the way that week of a uh, waganetwa what do they call those weeks like either ya iwaga either ya prophecy ama waga ya crusade or something like that so it'd be like a week long thing so monday kuna mtu anakuja tuesday kuna mtu anakuja wednesday kuna msana kuja thursday friday the saturday then now sunday is now the kumaliza ya kumalizia. Yeah. And in that time frame between Monday and Sunday muneza raise 80k, 100k. Wow. So it's it's worth it. But so unajua hawa se wanakuja ku preach they are different people. They are also paid to for speaking appearance, right? So if you go by what's happening over here, umse ama kuja na wase wake wanapewa do nini nini nini. So i, in this e mchezo wa pakanapanya, they can in that day a loose 20k could be raised just in that day in so that then now what ends up happening is these tombs are divided between the church na umse wow v- so, very interesting but i mean i saw things like that happen on the back side so me mimi ni liona so i've seen those things is over to cause kanisa nini nini so you know like mika was saying about the prosperity things and stuff 
sometimes you have to ask yourself whether okay are these guys legit mm-hmm. is it a uh, mchezo kuna ile unajua wasia wanashikwa wanaanguka you know those are their, their plants there are people who actually have been filled quote unquote with the spirit there are others like, who are l- not like in kanyari's church yeah, yeah, you know, there are people who've been filled with the spirit. You know, you touch them, they fall. <laughs> and there are others, you know, others who have not. There are those who actually get quote unquote healed. There are those who are not, who you know, who are planted. So it's in a tegemea. And depending on, in my experience, because of my experience, I'm very wary of those of ministries in general. Because me, I have seen it. I've mm-hmm. been there, I have done it, I have seen those things. Okay, surely. How is, and oh, by the way, this guy who I saw doing this was a, a preacher from Nigeria. By the wow. Way. Okay. Yeah, but was. not T.B. Joshua, another no, preacher. No, no, no. It was a guy from, from Nigeria. So it seems so, there's so, something to so, do with Nigeria. But, but I, I'm not pointing fingers. I'm just saying, in my case, this is what I saw. Live, live, in action. And this was one of. So he was not the only <coughs> Nigerian preacher who used to come to this church. And the church was an American church. You know, so... Uh, a leading American church. In fact, uh, let me just put it this way. One of the guys who ended up purchasing that church, a uh, huge church in Bimo. Uh, what's the biggest church in Bimo that you know of a black guy? and the Jamal guy Bryant. The bus. Wow. So, okay. And Jamal Bryant is very popular. So, yes. so, yeah. so on the back side, you know, before Jamal got to where he was, it was next door to where we did, uh, one of our boys was having a pre-wedding. It was next to Jamal's church. Oh, that one I definitely didn't attend. Pal- oh, Pale Kerea, uh, yeah. West Side. Primrose. Primrose. Yes. yes. Uh, I See, think Jamal's uh, uh, Primrose. Uh, 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 I think uh, uh, so, actually yes, I might yes, have yes, attended yes. that pre-wedding. So, so, story for so anyway, so all I'm trying to say is that church was a huge church before and had even like four or five branches uh and the pastor even drove a rolls and the rolls was presented to him by the church the congregation bought him a rolls royce okay so i'm just saying that in some cases these things that happen on the back side and then there's also divisions that occur because sometimes the couple split and when there's a split between the husband and wife first lady na Mm-hmm. The, you know the the pastor mm. can this appear in a split you know where i learned that even in bolti you know where i learned that from a series on netflix called greenleaf yeah greenleaf, one yes. of the best series yeah, i really have good ever one. watched it is really? a good one yeah very good yeah. series. all those things you're seeing it's real so it's not all, just, no they're not fiction they they actually happen down they're based to on a things team. that can happen they're based on the, things, things that, that have happened story. have happened yeah. have, yeah. Happen. Yeah. have happened have happened continue to happen and will continue to happen because of that how Man, but that will you know whose house that is? I don't know whose house it is, but no. it has rooms that have rooms. Uh, Tyler Perry, god well, damn, congratulations, bus. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, but but anyway, so yeah. y- you know, there, there are some things that uh happen in the church, and if you're not in the church, you don't get to see them, you never ever get to see them. Yeah. And these are things that have happened time and time again, okay, with all these big guys, Reynard Bong case, you I don't know who. Ukienda ufanya uchunguzi wone how some of these things are conducted on the backside. Ata kina prophet uwe. Maze unashika dabu. See, there's a guy, I know, I know, I know you're pressed for time, but see, there's a guy who at one point in time, uh, is it Popo? There's a, there's a guy who was, at one point, he was Popo or Popich or whatever. The guy was busted. Because what was happening was, it was like, it was like he was, he was, he was, he was being led by the spirit to call out names. And these people, he would call out, and they say, "Okay, so I think I know there's somebody called whatever, uh, uh, whose husband or wife, whatever, six, is that the other, whatever." And you know what God says that you're going to be healed. <laughs> Kumbe Jama is being fed information through a through his career, an earpiece. Yeah, earpiece. Yeah. Yes. And we're talking about the 80s. Yeah. This guy, once he was busted, he went Chinyamaji. Right now, the guy is back, televangelist, selling water. Yeah. But yeah. carry on. I'm waiting to hear this Ali's uh, defense. Yes, I'm gonna make a defense for Chris- Christianity as a Muslim, despite all this. Ama, this is for next for the next show. It's not for the next show. Where we are, we are gonna I wrap mean... up. We're gonna we're gonna wrap up with that. I'm gonna make that defense and 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 I'll give my reasoning why I'm doing this because um yeah there's just certain things that I think uh that oh, maybe I'm... people hear from outside. 
Pablo, Pablo, is, Pablo has mentioned the, the person I was talking about. Okay. Secretly is in conversation, people saying that they were ailing. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. But, but, but before <coughs> I do that, I'm going to give Ruth a chance to talk to us and tell us why she thinks that almost everyone is a step away from joining a cult. Yes. And please don't compare it to a paycheck. No. Okay. 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 All right. Talk to us uh, about that. I'm trying to figure out how they compare to a paycheck. Uh, so, again, supposedly one yeah. paycheck away from oh, from from, 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 <laughs> from homelessness. Ah, yes. <laughs> no. Anyway, in the Mika, left. Mika has a solution. It was a church. Carry so, on. um, I need to say this: there is a ma- vast majority of churches that don't operate that way, Pentecostal churches. So, okay. like, because I think sometimes the entire section of of Pentecostal churches are labeled that way, uh, because the ones that grab the attention are the loudest, the right? The ones that go viral. And they go viral. And again, they say, some, if you do something bad, so if something bad comes out of what you're doing, that travels faster than people actually doing the, the real groundwork of like, you know, uh, teaching people the word of God and, and raising them to be uh, good, good Christians, if I can put it that way. Now, having watched so many documentaries uh, and I, I just don't want to start naming other religions, uh, especially the offshoots of Christianity. Not, I'm not even going to any other. I'm just like in, within the Christian faith, but the offshoots of that. Um, the reason why I don't want to, I just want to name them because like we might be burned today, is because <laughs> um, I. This is what I spent again. I think I've listened to almost five different. And when I say it's a, it's long long stories uh, that would span either Kwanza Netflix Kona Moja uh, which I, uh, I can share later mm-hmm. that, that it, would, it would take you weeks to actually get through to this, get, get through everybody's experience what I learned is we all want to belong right we all want to belong something outside just our everyday life so let's say you have a family you know and you belong to that family Mm -hmm. but everybody wants to belong somewhere else they want to feel like i have a purpose in life um and so if you combine those things and you combine them with whatever that you believe in it's easy for you if if that if the people in that um group i'm not gonna call it faith that group if they make you feel that you belong that you matter that you 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 add value your, if you don't have the guardrails of critical thinking, mm-hmm. you can fall into a cult without knowing. Um, and I normally say we don't have to go far. MLMs are, cal- are cultish to begin with. You, you know? mean multi-level marketing? Multi-level, those are cults in, in, in a different name. Was it called because Organo Coffee? <laughs> Because s- s- some of the things, they, uh, you, number one, you, you also the idea of like you, you'll be wealthy, you'll be able to provide for your family, you have the lifestyle you want, right? You, you, there's, there's, there's an incentive for you, right? You uh, want to belong to this club, so that's we. a belonging. Um, you know, there's a sense Abolish. of belonging at that point. Primerica. <laughs> there are so many. Right? There's so many. So, and by the time you realize that, wait, I mean, I'm not even benefiting the way I thought I was supposed to be benefiting. You've spent a ton of your time and money doing that thing, right? Now, try to put that entire thing into a faith that you actually believe. And somebody is telling you that God has called you to your, you know, you to, to, to be part of this ministry. And they give you everything that you're looking for in terms of like a purpose, belonging. It, it's easy. It's so easy to believe that, okay, this is it. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. And so when things start going wrong, instead of thinking for you, to yourself, well, wait a minute. What does the, like whatever script you believe in, whether it's the Bible or the Quran or, I mean, business savvy, like the business school will tell you, like, or any business article will tell you MLM is not going to work, right? So if you don't have something that you can go check your beliefs, I mean, the things are being sold, if you don't have a place you can base your belief a system guardrail. on, yeah. a guardrail, as you said, Oh, you will find yourself in a cult without knowing. So basically, you're going to Ocean City, a very long bridge. It's so high, yeah. but you're driving a car 50 miles or even 60 miles an hour, one lane, yeah. no guardrails. No guardrails. Just one wrong move. One wrong move, Maj. right? Exactly. Yeah. And uh, how did I get here? Okay. But it, it's, it's that small. So that sense of belonging and purpose, if somebody tells you any any idea that 
taps into those two things into the fears into, into the fears of like of being relevant in this world if somebody taps into take take a step back and be like okay does this fit in in what i believe things are supposed to be if it does not and if also they try to make it like quick quick like if you don't do it right now like if 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 you don't believe right now if you don't jump into this opportunity right now th- that selling of like it has to be immediate like you have to yeah. do it right now that is what can i get you into it and before you realize you're like oh my word so it's easy it's uh, you'd rather i know when you say you'd rather offend people you'd rather fall out with men of god as they call themselves if they're gonna use that as a reason why you're supposed to be part of their church or part of their whatever they're trying to get you to in to be in you'd rather fall out with a person Mm-hmm. Then sell your life into things that you don't really know. Wow, like, like that, forex. Yeah, for, uh, l- let's not even talk about forex oh, because sorry, sorry, sorry. because uh, you know, like I'm gonna get into trouble because I already got into trouble by some people who are in the business. So let's not talk about forex also being an MLM. But uh, but uh, but very interesting uh, point of view coming from uh, uh, from Ruth. You know, like just to give us um, the other side um, of this conversation and it's also interesting because in marketing those tactics are well known you know like for example like uh whenever you know like whenever marketing email is sent to you it's been crafted very carefully it wasn't just uh put together you know like they always like to entice you with a time limit that if you don't do this by this then you will miss out on this discount if you don't do th- like you see like even kina macy's nini they will tell you this discount is lasting up to 24 you know, hours yeah it's a 24 hours discount sometimes it could even be up to the end of the month but then that's a tactic that's used in marketing and now it's interesting to scare that uh, now they're also these are tactics that are also being carried over you know like into religion